nature's best bobtail. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, you've been working yourself to the bone, taking care of your new canine companion, feeding him just the right foods, teaching him when and where to potty, and doing everything else you can think of to get him off to a good start. But there's one task that you might have overlooked, socializing your dog. Now, if you're wondering what socializing is, well, we've got animal behaviorist Ansi Minar in studio to teach us all about socializing your dog. Welcome to Expresso. Thank Bob you. and Bella are loving you this morning. <laughs> what are the most common mistakes people make when it comes to socializing their dogs? Well, the first and foremost is they tend to drag the dog straight <laughs> up to the strange dog, regardless of what might be happening there, and also putting tension on the leash and mm -hmm. holding it when they're slightly nervous when another dog comes up towards them. So those two are possibly the worst things. What you need to know is that dogs don't greet like people would greet one another. We would come up to one another, say hello and get it over with, okay, and move on from there. Dogs don't. That's, they start their communication from far away already. And if you understand a dog's language, it's a lot easier to know whether you're welcome to come forward or not. So one of the things you want to look out for are, if a dog stands there glaring straight at you and your dog, he's actually saying, either go away, go away, or you come one oh, step closer, yes. <laughs> one step closer, or, you know. Mm. Um, what you want to look for is a slight head turn, which basically says, I'm, I don't mean you no harm, a body turn, even better. You'll find they might slightly circle one another just to suss one another out. Once you get the head turn away, it's an invitation to come closer. But if you're looking at a dog that's glaring straight on you head on, don't go up there. <laughs> he hasn't invited you close and you're bound to not have a good greeting. Another quick way to find out if that dog is friendly, in fact, is, hey, ask the owner. They'll know. <laughs> is your dog friendly? <laughs> That's an easy way to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Now, what if someone's adopted an adult dog and he wants, or she wants to introduce their adult dog to their pet at home, their full-grown dog at home? How will they know that the dogs will be friendly to each other? Again, it's about body language, but you definitely don't want to introduce them on the existing dog's territory. Mm. It's like you suddenly walking into your kitchen and there's the stranger. It's like, ah! Okay, so you don't want to go there. You want to introduce them mutually happy territory, the park, the walk out there, and possibly have them together, walk them together, let them do something fun together, let them meet elsewhere. And then you'll casually come in with the two still on leash and happily go into, into the home environment. And you'll find that the existing dog will probably accept the new dog a lot easier and quicker. If they've been great out there, they're going to be absolutely fine in there if you've introduced it in that way. But if you're in any way slightly hesitant, your dog has, your existing dog has a history, then you might want to call in a behaviorist just to help you through the initial stages because that first meeting is critical. What about puppies? How are Barbara and meeting Bella for the first time? Um, ideally with puppies, you want to be careful with adult dogs. Bob, bless his heart, is beautiful. He has a beautiful, beautiful soul. You, you know, Bella couldn't have asked for nicer in a playmate, in a friend, in a everything. Mm. He's absolutely divine. But um, some dogs that are really old, adult dogs, what you'll find is their bodies are sore. Puppies are very playful, so they want to keep playing. Mm. Older dog says, hey, 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 mm. out of my space. I'm nervous about you. My body's like not what it should be. Um, then you get the teenager type who's quite strutty and existing adult dog. And you, you don't want to put a puppy in his space without introducing yes, them properly absolutely. first. Because, yeah, there could be a little bit of egomania going on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the bottom line is to do the introduction properly. Yes. And then once you've done that, be aware of the space your existing dog needs. And before you start throwing this little guy in there. Mm the new puppy, the new home, or the new, the new adult dog, or the new puppy. So be aware of their needs. Puppies, mm. you need to give them a safe space because they need to sleep hugely yes. when, they, when they're this young. So you want to put them in a little happy spot where they can get away from existing dog and just go to sleep and have their own space. 
Well, um, Ansi, thank you so much. I can see they have fallen asleep <laughs> there. Really soothing. And, and thanks for answer, answering our socialising questions when it comes to introducing dogs You're to very new dogs. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Now, someone who is really brightening up our day and we're really enjoying having her here is Catherine Jenkins, and she's with Katleho.